always seems to know when the camera's going to be on. Yeah. 50 minutes past the hour. Welcome back to the most news in the morning. Time for your AM house call. Stories about your health, and it's one of the leading cancer killers. Yet, very little federal money goes toward pancreatic cancer research. Well, a group of advocates is lobbying Congress trying to change that. CNN's Brianna Keeler is following the story for us, and she's live in Washington for us. What are you finding out, Brianna? Well, John and Kieran, these are some everyday Americans who realize simply that the squeaky wheel gets the grease. So driven by their cause, they asked for FaceTime with their members of Congress, and they went up to Capitol Hill to lobby. A purple army descending on Washington, determined to raise awareness about pancreatic cancer, one of the deadliest forms of cancer. Among them, a rare survivor, Maya Urkus. Unfortunately, also a lot of the prominent people we've known, like Michael Landon and Patrick Swayze, they don't survive it very long. Another pancreatic cancer victim, Randy Pausch, the man behind the YouTube phenomenon, The Last Lecture, an uplifting message just months before he died. We cannot change the cards we are dealt, just how we play the hand. In Randy's place, his son Dylan, this is a job we have to complete, so let's complete it! The job is lobbying Congress. Pancreatic cancer kills 95% of the people it afflicts, but only gets 2% of the federal government's cancer research dollars. Without a high-profile spokesperson, it's up to Maya and hundreds of volunteers to change that. Cannon right up here, we got Longworth behind me, and then Rayburn is right next door. How does it make you feel that pancreatic cancer doesn't get a lot of research money? It really makes me mad. It makes me mad, it makes me angry, it makes me sad, and it's not right. It just simply is not right. So. And is that what you're going to be telling these lawmakers? Yes, of course. Maya heads for the office of her congressman, Washington State Republican Dave Reichert. Maya, how Dave, are you? Good to, good to see, see you. you. The issue hits close to home for Reichert. My mother has just gone through through this uh, she was diagnosed uh, i think uh, about a year ago with pancreatic cancer he already supports their cause but maya asks for more encourage your um, fellow congressmen oh, yes. colleagues right. in the state of washington to co-sponsor um, you are the only Republican congressman from our state that has done so thus far. But in a time where more government spending is a hard sell, Reichert uh, tells it like it is. The, the reality is the money part is a tough, is a tough one. And uh, however, uh, that doesn't mean that we shouldn't try. Now, even though the money part is a tough one, as you heard Reichert say there, these volunteers certainly didn't come to Washington in vain. They got a commitment from Reichert that he will write a letter to the National Cancer Institute asking them to reallocate some research dollars for pancreatic cancer. So certainly you could say, John and Kieran, that coming here to Washington, they've certainly been able to make at least a small difference uh, to help promote their cause. And they, they sure have a powerful advocate, Randy Pausch's eight-year-old son, too. He's great. Sure, he is. He's adorable. And as well, uh, Randy Pausch's wife, Jay, was there. Uh, and certainly when they talk to members of Congress and they have such a message that comes from the heart, I think it's fair to say that members of Congress listen. Right. You know, and the other thing that's uh, fascinating about this is that oftentimes, I mean, it is, you know, private citizens building these private organizations. I mean, the Susan G. Komen Foundation and what it's done to bring attention and awareness and money to breast cancer research as well. Um, is that something they're also trying to do? You know, there are a number of cancers where volunteers are doing this, and the, the point that pancreatic cancer uh, volunteers will make about, say, breast cancer is that when you look at survivors over five years, almost more than eight in ten people survive that cancer. So there are a lot of survivors with really great stories, and the struggle for these pancreatic cancer volunteers is they, don't, they have very few survivors, and so they're really trying to build some momentum and have some of the success that those uh, breast cancer advocates have had. And uh, anyone who has uh, neither uh, seen nor read the last lecture certainly should uh, do either. You can get it online. Or books are fabulous, fabulous. You have, have to check it out. It's amazing. Absolutely. Brianna, thanks so much. Thank you. Our Building Up America series continues.